so we're taking a look at the line of best fit. We're trying to figure out how to draw this by hand the best that we can. So I'm taking a look at these two graphics and I will do them without a ruler because I don't have a ruler with me. But we're taking a look at this. We want to kind of keep things, if we can, hit a couple points. If not, we just want to make sure that there's evenness above and below that line with the scatter plot points. So I'm just going to eyeball this the best I can and I'm just going to essentially look for kind of getting an idea of like something like this where if I look at it I am going through a point which would be this point right here. I have two points that are below it. I have two points above it. These two are really close. These two are a little bit further away. Probably would be a little bit better if I did it a little bit more um, like this way. But again, for the most part, that's kind of what you're looking for when you're doing a line of best fit. If you look down here at this one, we see a positive correlation and it's a little bit weaker. But you know, when you're trying to figure out, you're trying to get kind of an idea of how this might look, we want to have points above and below. So I'm thinking like kind of where this like space is in between. And try to do the best that you can here. See how that worked out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five below. So it went through one point, it has six above it, five below it. That's okay to have. And then that way you got kind of an idea of like how to do a line of best fit just by hand. All right, so we're continuing on these two. So again, you're looking at trying to find the best fit line by hand. I'm just gonna try to do this, maybe go through, this is no ruler, I'm just kind of sketching it. But you want to go through as if you can as many points as you possibly can. I'm trying to do this as best as I can freehand. Kind of like a straight line like that. Of course, it's not really straight, but we're taking a look at it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have the six, seven on both sides. So we're pretty equal on that. All right, for our last one, we have this one. So as you can see, I kind of just did a quick sketch of it. Just struggling here around my tripod. But again, you, you want to get it somewhat, if you can, close. Equal to both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And have it as best as you can. And if you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at U1 Algebra. All these are located in the my line of best fit correlation playlist or my statistics playlist on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. Save this for later, and I'll see you.